Once again, once again, everyone, it's your man No Malice here with my man the Ice Man. All right, we getting them in, ain't we, Gene? We getting them in. It's the Reinvision Podcast. Yeah. Well, we encourage everyone everywhere to reinvision everything. Listen, get this album. Let the dead bury the dead. This track here, shame on me. Let's go. I'm in a race against time. My mama done. I pray she get to see me make it. Cause she love to see the smile on her baby faces My younger brother kept her in Mercedes latest But it was the Holy Ghost that drove her to the sun of David I was there when mama said I believe I watched Jesus steal her heart like a common thief As for me and my house, we gon' serve the Lord I've been a fool for far less of things people murder for Furthermore, he speaks to my intelligence I find no fault, like what's there to rebel against? Only the blood can rid you of them skeletons Chained to a twig, forgetting that we elephants Ever since 15, I seen hella cane I was in the wind, flipping chickens like a weather vane Beat the rock to a pole, rip them good, bubble lane Flooded V8 like Floyd, that's before the hurricane Shame on me, shame on me, shame on me At any given time, you know I got that thing on me Quick to give a hate exactly what he came to see had no love for my brothers. Shame on me. Straight from the 757, it's the re envision Radio Show, where we encourage everyone, everywhere, to re envision everything. Here is your host, No Malice, and the Iceman. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What's up? What's up? It's your man, No Malice, right here on the re envision Radio Show, re envision Podcast, where we encourage everyone, everywhere, to re envision everything. To my right, none other than the one and only Ice Man. What's up, Ice? How you doing, man? Man, Gene, man, you got a theme song. Man, what we doing with a theme hey, song? Something. All we need is a cape. All we need is a cape, man. That's all yeah. we need. We yeah. gonna come save the world. Yeah, save the whole world. Or rather, point to the one who yeah. saved the world. You know how they get out here. They hop <laughs> on us for anything we say that's wrong. Like my daughter used to say, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. All right, all right. Today's topic, we're gonna get into it. Today's topic is, a, is about cursing. Now, uh, Ice, one of the things I can clearly remember about my transformation was when I had started to share the gospel, uh, I used to make these video blogs, which people started to call uh, vlogs. Mm -hmm. Um, And they were all true stories about revelations that I had that first I experienced them. And then in my reading of the word, I saw stories that correlated to things that I had been through. So, you know, that... um, is a testament to how I know that the Bible is real, mm-hmm. you know, and why mm-hmm. it speaks to me so mm-hmm. good. All right, well, these vlogs, they even had their own kind of cult following. Uh, when I'd go out of town to Atlanta, Miami, et cetera, people would always tell me how the vlogs touched them in a certain way, you know, these these video blogs that me and my man Show Me were making, you know, shout mm-hmm. out to, to, to Show Me Pat Wari, um, video director extraordinaire. Um, I even remember uh, Lil Duval, the comedian, tweeting about, uh, you know, my vlogs. And I, I bumped into him in Atlanta and he told me personally, you know, that he really enjoyed them and he liked and he liked look, looking at them. Um, I was even nominated for having a, one of the top blog sites by some magazine. I don't know I, if it was The Source or Double XL or, or, or someone, but they, uh, you know, they had nominated me for having one of the best uh you know, b- mm-hmm. blog mm-hmm. sites, and I didn't even know I had one. Mm-hmm. That's just something that I was just doing, telling mm-hmm. my story, sharing the Be- gospel. Being yourself. Yeah, I was just being myself, you know. Okay, now the issue that I have come into uh, while I was making uh, these vlogs is that as I was speaking about Jesus, I was still using language that was uh, unbecoming to the theology and the beliefs. Yeah, it won't conducive. Nah, it, it it wasn't conducive. Yeah. But, you know, uh, the Christian community, they came at me hard for using the profanity, okay? But my, my stance and my thinking at the time was, did not you guys just see where I came from, mm-hmm. the lifestyle that I was living, mm-hmm. the the radical, drastic transformation that that I had went through, you know, so... I don't I and, and and giving up everything. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. And Jim. they and they were talking about my profanity. 
Yeah. Now, I, it was hard for me to reconcile this because I'm like, I can sin a lot better than mm. simply using these curse words. Mm-hmm. You, you came know? out the muck. I had just come out the muck, baby Christian, as as, as they say it or whatever you call it. And uh, and especially I, the suffering that I had went through. So now I know Jesus is real. I know mm-hmm. that I have been delivered. And here comes this community coming at me talking about my language. Well, that's what they do, Gene. I hate to say it. That's what You know, I never would. Mm-hmm. Come you on. know, when I ran across a, a brand on. new Christian, mm-hmm. I would always, you know, once I dig what background he came from, I would always lay cool. You know, the Holy Ghost going to teach him as he go. At That's some right. point, the Holy Ghost going to tell you, you know, what but you But they can. was going to do and the Holy Ghost job for them. Well, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the suffering that I had went through, it was just it was just incredible. Yeah. But now I know that the suffering I went through was so that I could identify with Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Romans 8, 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so, be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. So that's what the whole suffering was about. I'm going to finish this story. We're going to take take a quick break and then we'll get back into it. Re-envision radio. Now, Ice, I couldn't believe that anyone would dare speak to me about my language. You know, that criticism, uh, it was trying to get me to rebel because I feel like people expected me to be sanctified overnight. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how much I knew about uh, sanctified or sanctification even at that time. But I was like, yo, what are y'all talking about? Man, I would I would have laid low, man. At least you in at least you in the gospel game. You know what I mean? You uh-huh. at least you was in the game. You know, I would I would always uh, approach young folks, you know, some of them young bucks, especially if I knew what game, I might would have pulled you to your side, say, hey man, you know, when it's just me and you and kind of ease to you, say, hey man, you know what I mean, you know, you know, kind of back up. And that's all I would I would have said, right. you know what I mean. Right. But Christian folks, they got a strange way. Uh, they do things to you to make them look holy. I got to get this brother straight. The brother just got saved. What you, what you, what you want him to do? Walk right, on water? Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Right. You right. know it's going. The Holy Ghost will take care. And that's I, right. And I see now the Holy Ghost is has taken care of you. You know. Right. Now, now to their defense, uh, it wasn't until. I read more of the word, meditated, reflected on the word of God that I become to grow more and more sensitive uh, to what I would say and to how I would say it. But this comes only by the Holy Ghost who convicts us. It ain't going to come by nobody jumping in my comments or, you know, being bombarded by a bunch of people. You did this, you did that, or the, you know, the Christian community or this, that, and the third. This kind of conviction comes only by the Holy Ghost. Now, if you came to me lovingly, I'd listen. Man, you already come out of that game. You know, you come out of that rap game where y'all didn't take nothing. You didn't take no stuff from nobody at no time. And that's exactly, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to exactly hear exactly where you I know? was at. You, you was at that. I, I know that's you was exactly at that exactly where I was at. I ain't trying to hold her. You hold that roller. You know what I mean? Right, right, the, right. The scripture say, as you see the light. Walk therein. You know, that'll, that'll solve that situation, you know. But then, and then too, ma'am. What's up? Yeah, even with you going about it the way, I don't know what. Other person might have seen young buck like you in that game. I don't think yeah. you have to even be young. You can be old. You know, when you come to Christ, old, young, people still need to approach people with grace. And love and kindness. Amen, yeah. man. Love Amen. And kindness. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If ain't no love in your epistle, you might well take your epistle and throw it clean away. Well, that's the thing, man. Yeah. People don't want to hear from anybody. Yeah. If, first, if I know that you love me, I'm more apt to listen yeah. to you. But if I think you just looking at me and you see things that are, are wrong with me and I, I, I'm just going to feel like you're judging me, you know yeah, what I'm saying? But if yeah. I feel like you have a care and a concern and, and yeah. love for me, I'll yeah. listen to whatever it is you have to say. Love does that. Is it, love covers a multitude of sins. It's a, it's, it's, it's a good lesson in all things. It's a good lesson. And God got his way. You know, they, God chose you, not them. That's right. You know, God shows you for whatever reason you. That's and that's right. what that's one of my pet peeves with a lot of a lot of Christians. Man, they 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 don't even know how Do to Do you hug. know how many pet peeves you have? 
I, I, Have you ever counted them? I, I did. You got a lot of pet peeves. I, 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 I've been counting them. <laughs> I've been counting them since 1967. Oh, wow. That's what's up. That's what's up. But, But yeah, the Holy Ghost will convict us of things that uh, are not pleasing to the Lord. And even in that, the Holy Ghost ain't no bully. He's just going to let you know, hey, that's not pleasing to the Lord. That's right. But you do it if you want to. That's right. But he lets you know. That's right. He don't even come at you like the church come at you sometimes. That's right. That's right. But he giveth more grace. Oh, yeah. He giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, God resisteth the proud, but give grace unto yeah. the humble. That's James 4, 6. Yeah. Uh, I ask murderer, get saved, sanctified, come to God. And all you got to do is talk about him because you saw him drink a beer. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, and exactly. That's, that's exactly the way I see it, too, man. You know, but, you know, the, the enemy, he's subtle because what I was supposed to do was say, hey, what was I thinking? Yeah. These, these people are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he was trying to get me yeah, to do. Yeah. You know. It could have could have easily jaded you. Now now listen to yeah. this. Now listen to this. I happen to actually agree with not using coarse yeah, language. Without a doubt. But that's now. Without a doubt. You know. Not, without a doubt. Yeah. But that but that's now. But you ain't gonna make me stop with no bull whoop. Nah. Yeah. You ain't no, you ain't gonna make me yeah, stop. With no bull. Uh, yeah, I feel you. You ain't gonna make me stop. <coughs> all right, all right. Let's take a break and come back. Get the book, Wretched, Pitiful, Poor, Blind, and Naked. It's time to take off your cool. Available on iTunes and Amazon. Now, I, I don't not curse because I'm so holy and so pious. Um, I basically, I don't curse because I don't have to curse. That's right, yeah. Um, I've even been told that my silence intimidates. <laughs> people sometimes you know so i know you know i'm just not one of those the, those people uh you know who who have to curse and if i had ch- for whatever reason chose to curse you would be hard pressed to find someone who could out curse me i come from that rap world you know what i'm saying i come from that world so you ain't you if if i did that you're not gonna outdo me but i very uh seldom find that it enhances um you know, uh, uh, the artistry mm-hmm. of the music. Mm-hmm. Now, there, I, I do believe there are times where it does enhance, it, it, it yeah, drives yeah, the point yeah. home, mm-hmm. but there have been times where I hear people take a curse word, any curse word, pick mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. and rhyme it four times. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. uh, four bars of the same curse uh-huh. word, you know, rhyme it to, to, to make every sentence rhyme. Yeah, it gets, to me, it, it's it gets that, after yeah, that. Yeah, that's like for what? Yeah. Like for what? But I gotta do like church folks know. You know, when, when church folks be in the, be in the church, they gotta go to the ba- bathroom. So they always chip out. Holy, I gotta back up to your silence. You know, say even your silence. You know what you saying? You say even your silence. Well, I've I've heard that my silence is intimidating because I don't listen, man. You might can tell what I'm thinking I, by look, what I don't say. I ride with you nearly every day. Yeah. I, I done dug some of your silence. I dug, <laughs> I done dug, I done dug some of your silence. You know, nah, your, man. your silence be cracking windows, be crack windows be cracking and stuff. I you ain't know? that bad, yeah. Ice. But listen, another another uh, reason why I'm not personally fond of cursing because um, you know people that are swearing they have no clue about what they're doing. And surely this is not indicative of all people who curse. I've even heard it said that some people who swear are considered to be or found to be, you know, smarter than others. I don't know how they come up with that, but I'm not I'm not going to challenge it. But here are my personal uh, findings and experience. Um, Swearing is, is the one thing that when you do publicly, it tells me that you have no regard for a community. You have no regard for the elderly or children who shouldn't have to be uh, exposed to that. But not only that, there are fully grown men out here who like to adhere to some form of, of decency out That's in right. public places. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not, it's not that we better or anything yeah. like that, yeah. but sometimes you you know, you know don't just don't yeah. want to hear all yeah. of that. I don't look. In 2018, we bombarded with profanity everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. I don't like it. I don't like it, and I, I don't like it. Even when I was hustling up and down the street, only time I would actually use it when I got angry or something like that. You, were, right. you know, I would raise the devil's in. Right, but right. By, you, was by, in, you was in the battle by that time. I was time. in the battle, you know. I'll pass, and then I'm like you. 
Mm-hmm. It was sometime, man, when I was hustling down, up and down the street, I was past talking. When I'm past talking, I'm you up, up to killing. Kill I'm up to killing. <laughs> right, you know, right. Cursing ain't where it ain't a ain't nothing good about it because right. it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. And it's it, telling, it's talking about the spirits that you have sure, dwelling within sure, you. Sure. For out of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Yeah. So these are things that you have inside of you. And that's what people who curse casually do not know. Yeah. Like you're not just cursing because it sounds cool. Yeah. This is a this is an attitude. This is a feeling. This yeah. is an emotion. These are things that yeah. are within you. And it's a nasty, filthy habit. Some people just every word they say. Yeah. Every word they listen, say. Listen, you know what I mean? Luke it, six, four, five. A yeah. good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. Yeah. And an evil man, yeah. out of the evil treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is evil. Amen. Amen. For of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Amen. Now, these are things that are already within you that you don't even know. And it has become casual to this man. Man, by, by the time our children get 16, Mm-hmm. 15 years old, they more seasoned than a 50-year-old sailor. They hear that curse on TV. Right. Their mamas and daddies sometimes is cursing. They walk out in the street. What age did you say again? By the, by the time their child is 15, they seasoned. By the time they actually get 15, they, they seasoned. Not only are they seasoned, they jaded. Mm-hmm. They jaded. It's so natural. They desensitized to hearing all of this and, and seeing all of this. At that early age. And, man, when I was 15, man, you better not even say lie. You better say story. That's right. That's right. You better not. You let your mama hear you say lie. You better not even say lie. You better say story. He told you a know? story. Or, or you telling stories. You telling stories. Or, ooh, ooh, he said a bad word. Right. You know? Right. That's but right. That's how far we, we we have left for that. Now that gate is open. Listen, do you remember when the Pharisees asked Jesus, why don't his people uh, wash their hands before yeah, yeah, they eat? Yeah. And what Jesus said was so profound. He said, not that which goeth into the mouth that defileth a man, uh, that which come out of the mouth. That defileth a man. Hey. So he said, he said, if I recall correctly, he said, whatever comes into a man goes in through the mouth and out through the body. But what comes out of the mouth is coming out from the heart. I, 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 I need That's what defiles a man. I, uh, I'm a, Come on, man. Come on, because I got another point. Go ahead. No, I'm a, no I would just think about how I'm going to tweet Donald Trump and get him, you know, let I him get that uh, read, that, let I him can't. read that scripture right there. I can't. Uh, he, let yeah. him read the same scripture tweet there. Tweet it to him. Yeah, tweet it to yeah. him. All right. And thirdly, I also find that uh, a, a certain rebellion or a uh, lack of discipline that comes with an unbridled tongue. I find that, uh, and this is my personal opinion, man, my personal opinion, but those people who talk carelessly, they're the ones more prone to backbiting and whispering and, you know, spreading rumors and falsehoods. And, you know, some things, even if they're true, don't need to be repeated. That's right. That's right. You know? The devil can manipulate old people easy, can't they? Man, all so, people, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. I don't think this is a question of whether or not um, we all can't be guilty of it, because we all can be guilty of this. Sure. I think it's sure. more of a question of how susceptible yeah. are you yeah, to, to this. To, yeah. yeah, to this. You yeah. know, can you bridle your tongue yeah. at all? Yeah. I don't know, man, but, you know. I can bridle my tongue with that cursor. They don't like, don't like it. That's right. Don't I don't like it, it either. Listen to me good. Listen to me good. Listen to me good. Me and ask, what would Jesus do? What Jesus would do is what Jesus already did. Listen to me good. Listen to me good. Listen to me good. All right, Ice. Cursing, cursing. We're talking about cursing right now. And uh, a lot of it is just so, so, un- if not all of it, is unnecessary. Yeah, it is. I mean, I understand that it happens and, you know, it can get to the best of us sometimes. But this uh, casual cursing, I'm just I'm just not for it. You know, it it, it, it is. You know, I'm a strong advocate of parenting. You know, I I have always been. I'm a strong advocate how we raise our our children up. And that's how that stuff is. It it, it, children are growing up now. 
You know, that's just like I said earlier, at such an early age, you know, using, you see them on TV. They use them in commercials. They use them in television, little children, you know, F this and F that, you know, and little children, you know. They don't stand a they chance. They think it's cute. Yeah, they that's, think it's cute. They think cute. it's cute, yeah. but, but here's where the problem lies. See, they don't have any... Uh, uh, line of no no demarcation yeah, line. Yeah, demarcation line. There is yeah. no demarcation yeah, line yeah, of of what's yeah, acceptable yeah. and what ain't. Yeah. Now, maybe if you stop cursing back here, you won't get all the way up here to doing something you and, know and, so and, terrible. And you know that that that's cursing spirit. Quiet as it's kept, man. That's the gateway to other sins. It yeah. is the gateway. Yeah, I, you know I, what I mean. It definitely yeah, is the gateway. Yeah, and, and just people just getting uh, desensitized. Listen, let me, uh, we know what we think about cursing. Mm-hmm. Let's just see what the Bible has to say All right. about cursing. All right. All right. What the word says on that matter. Come, let's reason together. Psalm 109, 17. He delighted in cursing. Let cursing come upon him. As he delighted not in blessing, let blessing be far from him. I like that. Ah. Like the old deacon say, well. Yeah, man, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I like, me too. I, 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 oh, let me read yeah, it again. Yeah. He delighted in cursing. Let cursing come upon him. As he delighted not in blessing, let blessing be far from him. That's fair. Gene, you miss your calling, but you should have been a rapper. Man, you know? man, that's fair, Ice. Yeah, I feel you on that, I man. I like that. I yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Matthew 5, 37 says in regards to swearing. But let your communication be yea, yea, or nay, nay. For anything other than this is of the evil one. I like that. Yeah. I yeah, like that. Yeah. You don't have to, uh, you know, swear or simply say what you mean, mean what you say. Let your yea be yea and your no be no. You see, if you proclaim a thing, right? And it be true by swearing to God or as nowadays uh, what they say, they say on God, uh, like, you know, I swear to God, this, that, and the third. What What you're really saying is because I swore to God, you can trust me. You can believe me. But if I don't say that, then I could be lying. Yeah, yeah. that's the oath. That's the oath. So that's why the Bible says let your yea be yea. Or your nay yeah, be nay. Anything yeah. else is from the evil. That's one. right. That's right. That's right. By swearing on God, you have actually indicted yourself. You have actually told any other time I'm probably a liar. Yeah. But because yeah. I said I swear to God. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't like when people say that. I swear listen, to God. You listen, know what I mean. You know I, I'm a dude too, man. It I don't cuts like. Me. You know it cuts me. me I too, let them live because yeah. I can't go around correcting yeah, people. Yeah. But it does cut yeah, me. Like yeah. I feel that. And that that falls on the same order using God's calling God's name in vain too. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. In vain, yeah. calling His name for yeah, nothing. Why are you even yeah. mentioning Him? Yeah. Why are you even mentioning Him? I, I look at like stand up comedy. And, you know, and, and I just see uh, the lack of reverence for the Lord and how close they'll use me, me. the Lord's name to something so profane. And and the Holy Ghost. Yeah, they will make jokes about the Holy Ghost. Listen, yeah, you know what I mean? They think it's that, funny. They yeah. think it's funny. They they going to think it's funny. That, that laughter going to stop. Listen, you know God what I mean? said, or Jesus said, you can you can talk about God. You yeah. can talk about me. Yeah. But you talk about the Holy yeah. Ghost. You will they, not be forgiven. They, they blaspheme the Holy like it's a joke. Like you know what I mean? It's a joke. Yeah, man. Yeah. I yeah. think it's crazy. I don't. I don't even want to be in the same room with them sometimes. Yeah. You know, and I don't say nothing. I ain't trying to walk out. Yeah, because like you, okay, be, you can't be. You can't be holy. Yeah, you know, you can't you know, be super holy. But like I don't want to be around them. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and I, I think that's one of them. Them instances where where my silence. Speaks, yeah. Speaks loud. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't bang with you and you talking about God yeah. like that. I just. I just can't do it. Yeah. I'm not here to correct you, but yeah. like I don't want to be around you. Uh, James three ten. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be. Amen. You ever hear when the old folks say, uh, after you curse, uh, you kiss your mama with that mouth? Yeah. Or is that the same yeah. mouth you praise God yeah. with? Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Um, 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 out of the same mouth, blessing and cursing, these things ought not to be. You know, Gene, it's what? a scripture that said, if you build again the things that you tear down, you find yourself a transgressor. 
you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's much like, you know, just like you just said, praising God with one side of your mouth and cursing on the other side of your mouth, too. You know what I mean? Right. Find yourself a transgressor. Listen, listen, these things, um, many of us have been or are guilty of it. But at least when the Bible says these things ought not to be, you have to ask yourself or reason with yourself. This is true. These things, Mm -hmm. I should not be cursing and blessing out Mm -hmm. of the same Mm -hmm. mouth. Mm -hmm. Uh, James 3, uh, 11 through 12. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter water? Amen. Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? So can no fountain both yield salt, water, and fresh. Hmm. And there's tons more about cursing. But that scripture is clear to a holy man, a righteous man, a man that's trying to seek God, a man that want to know God. That's clear to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And and, And I think the beauty of it is, man, if you can just admit in your mind what's right and wrong. Amen. Accept Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will... We teach Regen- you all things. He'll regenerate you. Sure, he will. He will regenerate yeah, you. Yeah. And I don't want people to get sanctification yeah. and justification yeah. mixed up. Justification is once you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, you are justified in an instant. But sanctification is from glory mm-hmm. to glory to glory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I take that. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. We're talking about cursing. Watch your mouth. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. All right, we out. Matthew 15, verses 16 through 20. And Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the draught? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashing hands defileth not a man.